Hello and welcome again to Bryce Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 2003 Hyundai Sonata. Um, we're going to be reprogramming this fob. So here's our fob keyless entry. Um, I just had one when I bought the car. There's only one that came with it. Um, I found two of them in the junkyard. So we're going to program them. Um, as you can see, they're all nasty. The ones I found. Um, here's a brand new one I ordered off of eBay. It came in a set of two and it was like 10 bucks, roughly 10 bucks. Um, the new one is just the case. If you buy a new case with the electrical component, it is about, um, about 30 bucks. Um, so anyway, again, I found these two on, on, uh, in the junkyard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this electrical component into uh, my brand new case and we're going to reprogram this baby. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then my wife will, she'll have a Bob keyless entry for herself. Um, the battery is a 2032, 2032. That's the, the battery that goes in a lot of electrical components nowadays. So anyway, I'm going to transfer this into the new case, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Alrighty, so now that we're out in the car, um, I'm going to show you where it's located. It's behind this bezel, the radio bezel. So we have to take the radio bezel off, and you're going to see a little black box that's uh, back, in, back in there, and that's what we need to program. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The only tools we'll need is if you have a plastic um, uh, tool to remove like all your plastic components in your car, use that. I'm going to use this little screwdriver. I can't seem to find mine. Um, but anyway, I have a kit that does all that. So if you have that, preferably use that. I'm going to try it with uh, this little screwdriver. but. What we're going to do is we're going to pop off this, this frame here. You have to um, drop your ashtray. And then you're going to simply um, take your screwdriver or pry tools. And you're going to just gently pry this off. You want to be careful. You're going to see that there's four little brackets in here. One, two, three, four. You want to be careful you don't lose those little metal brackets. So I'm going to uh, start to remove this. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so basically I just lifted it up right here, right by the ashtray. I didn't even have to use the screwdriver at all. I'm going to try to gently pull it out of there. You're going to hear it snap. And that's just the plastic bezel coming out of the little metal brackets that I told you about. There we go. Just be real careful. You don't want to break this. All right, so there you go. There's little plastic pieces and back there is the little metal pieces. All right, so once we get this out a little, I'm gonna show you what to do next. There's, you're gonna have some wire harnesses. I think there is four, if I remember right. And then you're gonna see a plastic tube that's down there. That connects to that, and that's for the air conditioner. I'm not sure exactly what its function is, but it goes to uh, that little port right there. And then there again is the tube. So I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so the wire harnesses are all still attached. You have to um, just gently keep wiggling this back and forth, just very, very gently, because you don't want to damage those wire harnesses. And um, you're going to get it out. As much as you can just so you can disconnect the wire harnesses they all have a tab on them there's one or two down there that's what i can't remember and then there's a couple up here um so there's either three or four but i'll, I'll show you um anyway once we got it here we're just going to disconnect these wire harnesses again there's a little tab we compress the tab and then you can pull it pull out the wire harness so that's what we're going to do 
All right, so as you can see, all the wire harnesses are different sizes. There's four. Um, so you really can't get them mixed up. So there's the, that's what they go into. That's the female connectors. And then there's a couple right there. So you can't get them mixed up. And the, like I said, lastly, there's this, it's just a little hose that's right here. You just pull that out. You know, be careful with it. There you go. Now your bezel comes out. Set that aside. Move all that out of the way. And right back there, I'll get a flashlight. But you can actually see the sun shining on it. That is the box we need to reprogram. So I have tried to... Um, it's The program switch is on the back. You know what, let me get a flashlight here, and then I'll show you. Okay, so I'm trying to do this without taking out the stereo. Um, I may have to, because it's hard to access. But that's just held on by four screws. But, um, so right down there, there's a little black box right in that corner. You can see it back there, and it has a white little label on it. Maybe you can see it. Um, but that's the box that we need to do. Um, so there's a bracket along the back. If you can see that silver part, that bracket runs right where the little switch is. So you can't flip the switch while it's mounted on the car. So what you need to do is open up the black box. I'll show you how. Um, just gently open it. So you don't want to screw, screw up the electronics inside. You're going to open it, and then we're going to flip that switch to the set mode. So I'm going to show you how to open this black box, and then I'll show you the set mode switch. Alright, so I decided I am going to remove this um, stereo. I, want, I really didn't want to, but it's too hard to get in that little, uh, little hole there where your, all your heater and air conditioning vent is it's just too hard to see back back in there and and uh i just i just don't want to break that box it's it's back there so we're going to remove this uh stereo and it's just simply four screws here we're gonna pull those out and then there's a wire harness on the back that we're gonna uh we're gonna do so i'm gonna take that out and then i'll show you what's next all right, so now that you're, I got all four bolts are out. There should be just a wire harness back here, right there. And then the other one's your antenna, wire harness antenna. So just disconnect those. And then we'll have a little bit more light and we'll be able to see the little black box down there. Okay, so again, here's your stereo harness. And then here's your antenna it's just a cable that plugs in the back so just disconnect those well, yours may be different if you have a um a different stereo setup aftermarket stereo but there's the box again it's right there and there's that that little metal bracket i was telling you about that runs right back here and right in the back of it is the little set switch again i cannot access it because of that bracket i've tried but it doesn't work so we need to separate this little black box okay so what I did is lifted up this um it was like this like uh, that and you apply a little bit of pressure on the bottom of this case and then it can come off there's a little screw back there right there on that bracket so you just kind of pull it away from that and then you have this okay and then you're gonna have a switch you're gonna see it it's really hard to see right now apologize for the lighting but it's right here okay so here we go we're gonna turn it into the on position we're going to wait for the chime to go off. 
gonna reach down here as soon as that chime goes off which it is now flip it into the down position which is the set position then we're gonna take each remote simultaneously hold down the trunk and the lock button for about three seconds okay Okay, now we're going to go back, we're going to turn this on to the off position, which is up, and turn off our key, and then test these out. So far I've been able to get two of the three um, programmed, I cannot get my third one, maybe it won't do three, I'm not sure. It's in the unlock position, or I'm sorry, the lock position. Unlock, lock, there's our second one, unlock, lock, now we'll try this third, but haven't been able to do it, and again, doesn't work, and I've tried all of them, and it's always my last one, no matter which one I choose out of these three, the last one will not work, so if this is my last one, then, uh, you know, it, I can't get it to program, but anyway, that's the, that's the, step by step so again turn it to the ACC wait for your chime to go off once it goes off flip it into the down position which is the set on the box down there and go to each one of these simultaneously hold down the trunk unlock or lock whatever it is and then the lock button so both of those at the same time for about three seconds um, and just go through however many remotes you need to do and then once that's done come back to the box flip it into the off position and then turn off your key pull it out and then test it before you um, try to put everything back together so I'm gonna give it a couple more tries to see if I can get the third fob to work and if I can't I'll give up but I'm gonna give it a shot Okay, so I tried probably 10 more times at least and was never able to get all three of them to uh, work. I did two work like every time, but to get that third one, it just did not want to happen. And again, it didn't matter which one, which one out of the three I picked, the last one never worked. So it's not a bad fob, it's just the programming won't allow three, I guess. If I am wrong, please write down below in the comments and... Let me know uh, what you did to get a third one, if you have a third one. But I'm um, always able to get two. So now, that's it. Your, uh, your fob's working. So we're just going to reassemble everything. Um, starting with the, the box down there. Just kind of go in reverse order. Assemble back the box. Put in your stereo system. Then connect all your connectors. Make sure you got all these little metal brackets in there. My top two, they were uh, on the back of the little bezel there. But um, make sure you reconnect all your connectors, all your wire harnesses to the back of that. And, and uh, don't forget this little doodad for your air conditioner, whatever that is. But um, that's it. So hope this video helps you. Again, this is a 2003 Hyundai Sonata. This should work for all of your 2002 to 2005 Hyundai Sonatas. Um, they all have that little, little box back there. Um, but yeah, um, if this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other, um, other Hyundai Sonata and other vehicles, um, little maintenance fixes. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thanks for watching Bry's Garage. Take care.